When Pippa started to mistrust her housekeeper Jackie, she put up a lot of cameras around the house without Jackie or her husband Sam knowing about it. And Jackie's plan worked perfectly, as what she captured on the footage immediately exposed Jackie's true intentions. Pippa could not believe she ever trusted this woman. When Pippa told Jackie about the hidden cameras, the housekeeper's face went ghostly white. She knew that there was no way around it. Pippa had seen everything. But what had Jackie seen on the camera footage slash why had she been suspicious? And what had Jackie been up to behind her back? Jackie was doing such a great job that Sam and Pippa even recommended her to their friends and neighbors. Many of them hired her, and everyone was delighted while Jackie worked her ass off. But Sam didn't hire her for her looks. He didn't understand why his friends were so excited about Jackie. For him, no one was as beautiful as his wife, Pippa. He had met Pippa in high school, and they fell instantly for each other. They dated for about seven years and have been married for seven years. They never actually had their honeymoon because they were both too busy with work. But now that they have Jackie, Sim thought it was time for them to get away for a week. So they asked Jackie to stay in their home to care for their plants and cat as long as they were out, and she was happy to do so. A little too happy. But Pippa has heard some strange stories about Jackie, and she is starting to get doubts about her. So before Pippa was ready to tell her husband, she wanted proof. Sam and Pippa had always thought about security cameras, but they never went through with them. But now seemed the right time to get them installed anyway. She called a company, and they told her they could come the following weekend. That worked out perfectly because Jackie only works from Monday to Friday. Pippa made sure that her husband was out that day. She had sent him to the store with a very long list. He wouldn't be home for the next two hours. The workers came and went right at it. They installed the cameras in the kitchen, living room, laundry room, bedroom, and guest rooms. Almost every angle of the house was visible on camera except for the bathroom and some other corners. Pippa had asked them to make the cameras as invisible as possible. Even her husband Sam didn't notice the cameras when he returned. That gave Pippa a secure feeling her plan would work. They left for their honeymoon the following Monday. Jackie came in early so they could walk through the house together. Pippa was relieved to see that Jackie also didn't notice the cameras. When Sam and Pippa returned home, their house looked the same, cleaner even. Pippa tried to look back at all the footage, but it didn't record anything because she had forgotten to connect the cameras to the app. She felt like a failure but was determined to find out what was going on with Jackie. Her neighbor had told Pippa that he had heard strange sounds from their home in the past week and that there had been different cars in the driveway. This worried Pippa, and she went straight to her husband. Together, they came up with a different plan. This time, they would go to a nearby hotel. Sam and Pippa left the following weekend for their romantic night away, but there was nothing romantic about it at all. Hell, Sam spent the evening with his friend while Pippa got a cheap hotel room and started stalking the cameras to see what Jackie was up to. Pippa didn't care that her husband was out with his friends. She didn't even ask where they were going. All she could think about was Jackie doing God knows what in her house. People wondered if her neighbors felt the same way about Pippa or that she only did this at their place. But her questions would soon be answered. While Sam was out drinking and partying with his friends, he didn't think about his wife for a second. But she didn't think about her husband either. They were both so focused on themselves. Pippa kept looking at her iPad following Jackie's every move around the house. This time, she will catch her. She had been looking at the camera footage since noon. Against her own will, she decided to look away and order food. It was only a few minutes, but Pippa felt like she had missed hours of Jackie's moves. She wasn't on the couch anymore, where she had been when Pippa closed the app. Pippa searched for Jackie through all the camera screens, but she was nowhere to be found. How is this possible? Staring at the screen had become an obsession for Pippa. She didn't answer her texts or pick up her calls, not even when Sam had called her three times in a row. Because of this, Sam started to worry about his wife and decided to go to the hotel room. But what he sees there shocks him. When Sam entered the room, he was shocked to see the state his wife was in. She sat crouched on the bed with the iPad. Sam was so startled by his wife's behavior that he left the room without saying a word. He didn't know who his wife was anymore. Pippa watched him walk away and did feel sad about it. 
but her feelings towards spying on Jackie were stronger, and it turned out she had every right to be suspicious. As Pippa was still staring at the closed door, she noticed something in the corner of her eye. There was movement in her house again. Jackie had returned home, and something had changed about her. She held weird objects in her hand and paced nervously around the house. Pippa wondered why she was acting like this and zoomed in on the objects in Jackie's hand. She was holding random tools. Jackie then went into the bathroom. Pippa didn't have cameras in there, so she couldn't see what Jackie was doing, but she kept track of the time. Jackie came out of the bathroom 15 minutes later. This started Pippa's spiral. What could she possibly be doing in the bathroom for so long? It was very alarming to see, and Pippa wanted to go home immediately. But Pippa hesitated for a moment. Was it finally time to go home and confront Jackie about what she had seen? She was about to turn off the iPad when she saw something that made her blood boil. She couldn't believe what she was seeing. This was even worse than she expected it to be. Her husband had to believe her now. She felt a rage growing inside her, and she couldn't control herself anymore. After everything she had done, she had finally caught Jackie in the act. She ran to her car and drove home with incredible speed. Jackie had not expected Pippa home until tomorrow. But Jackie was so shocked she couldn't speak. After a few minutes, it started to sink in with Jackie. She had been caught red-handed, but she didn't know if her boss had proof, so she tried to talk herself out of it. Sim arrived in minutes. He had rushed home because of Jackie's call. He worried that his wife would do something she would regret later. But Pippa had her proof ready. She took her iPad out of her bag and showed Sem the footage. Because Sem turned back to Jackie with an angry look on his face. How could you? He yelled at her. She still tried to explain, but Pippa and Sem knew everything was a lie. They showed Jackie the footage, and she turned as white as a ghost. Everything had been captured on camera. There was no way out of this. Jackie felt defeated and decided to tell them the truth. She had staged a break-in and filled her car with all kinds of valuable items. She planned to sell everything for a lot of money to go to college. She had lied about going to Yale on her resume because she never had the money for it. Pippa couldn't believe what she was hearing. Her anger faded and she started to feel sorry for Jackie. Here they were, living in a big house with all these nice things they never even use. She hugged Jackie and told her stealing was never an option, but they weren't going to the police. Instead, they did something unexpected. Pippa and Sam decided to sponsor Jackie so she could go to college. Jackie was very grateful for their kindness, and she stayed their housekeeper for a little bit until she got too busy with school. She later graduated and paid everything back to Pippa and Sam.